Hey guys, it's Sharon and welcome back to System Design Concepts for Beginners. This is video number two in the series and today we're going to talk about consistency. Consistency in the context of distributed systems refers to the consistency of data across different nodes. In plain words, it means that a consistent system strives for everyone to see the same data at the same time. In more technical terms, it means that every read request to any one of your nodes should always return the most up-to-date value. And if it can't do that, it should return an error. So just like with availability that we discussed in a previous video, it's pretty obvious why we would want consistency, right? Of course, we would want all the users to see the same consistent data at any given time, right? But achieving this type of consistency can be a real challenge when designing a large scale system. Unfortunately, it is not given to us for free. We have to design the system with consistency in mind. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have this database server that stores all the data for our website foo.com. And we have this piece of data X that lives on the server and its value is one. Now, because there is only one copy of X, at any given moment, the server will hold the most up-to-date value of it. A user can modify the value of X and every read request that comes after that will return the same updated value. And this is perfect in terms of consistency, right? Every read request will always return the most up-to-date value. But unfortunately, this will not work at scale. If you have thousands of requests coming in every second, you will not be able to serve them with a single data server. Also, this server is a single point of failure. If it goes down, the entire system will become unavailable, which is really bad. You can watch my previous video on availability for more information on single points of failure. So in order to scale the system and eliminate the single point of failure issue, we can replicate the server onto one or two other nodes. Each node will contain a duplicate copy of the data. And this is where we'll start having consistency challenges. If a write request on the value of X happens on this server, then this value will change. And now these copies of X will no longer be up to date. They become stale. The subsequent request for the value of X will be served with a different value, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So in order for the system to remain in a consistent state and avoid situations like this, we would need to propagate each data update to all the nodes that have a copy of it. And the way in which we propagate these updates will depend on the type of consistency that we choose to provide. There are two main types of consistency, strong consistency and eventual consistency. Strong consistency means that every read request will always return the most up-to-date value, or again, an error if it can't do that. Eventual consistency is a more relaxed model. It means that once data is updated, eventually, after a short but unspecified length of time, all read requests will again return the same value. The data will eventually become consistent again. Now let's look at a couple examples to illustrate these two types of consistency. A very common example when explaining these concepts is the views counter. Say we have this very small YouTube type product where each video has a views counter that is publicly visible for all users. And I wanna make this as simple as possible. So let's say we don't have to store any information about the view operation itself like who is the user that did the viewing, when they did it, or for how long. All we need to store is how many views there are for each video. So in order to do that, we will keep a table called videos on our database server. This table will hold the video's metadata, including how many views it has. And in order to scale, we will duplicate this table onto two more nodes. And by the way, if we had a huge number of videos, we might have also had to shard the data. But we'll cover that in a different video. For now, let's assume that the videos table is not that big and can comfortably fit on a single server. So when a user starts to watch video one, the video's views counter will need to be incremented. And as we said before, this update will need to be replicated onto these guys as well. Now, in order to achieve strong consistency, during this replication time, all read requests to servers two and three will have to be blocked because with strong consistency, we cannot allow them to see the old value we have to wait for the new value to become available. Now, if one of the replicas is in a different physical location, a different geographical region, which is a very common scenario, then this replication time could be significant enough to affect performance and availability. As the system is waiting for the replication to complete, it is unavailable for read requests that come in during this time. But what if we don't want to sacrifice performance and availability for consistency? In that case, we can consider settling for eventual consistency instead of strong. When a user starts to watch a video, the counter is updated here and again replicated onto these two nodes. But we do not block read requests that come in during this time. If a read request for this view count comes in during this time, then the old value will be returned. 
So if we choose this option, we would have to be okay with sometimes returning stale values. This will of course speed up our system's responses because we don't have to wait for this part to complete and it allows the system to have higher availability because it's always available to serve new read requests, even during this time and even on the network failures between the nodes, again at the cost of sometimes returning stale and inconsistent values. But of course we don't forfeit consistency altogether, we just agree to tolerate temporary inconsistencies. Eventually the new value will reach all the other nodes and read requests will again return the most up-to-date value. The data will eventually become consistent again. In an interview, I would describe both approaches and discuss the pros and cons for each. We could have strong consistency at the cost of lower performance and availability, or we could have eventual consistency at the cost of users sometimes seeing stale and inconsistent values. We have to consider which one of these options has the least amount of negative impact on the user experience. In my opinion, seeing a slightly stale view count will not bother the user as much as waiting for that value and seeing nothing at all. So in that case, we would go with eventual consistency. Now this will not be the case for every use case, right? Think of a stock exchange service. What will be the effect of stock prices being eventually consistent instead of strongly consistent? The negative effect of users sometimes seeing stale stock prices is far greater than seeing a stale views count for a video, right? So in this case, we will probably prefer strong consistency over high performance. To summarize, whenever we replicate our data onto different nodes, we create consistency challenges that will not happen on a single node. We have to address those challenges by describing the replication process, considering both strong and eventual consistency, and given the trade-offs, make the right decision for our use case. Okay, so that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.